Right, it's Wednesday, August 23rd. Uh, you know what it is. I go to the comic shop, I grab whatever's in my box, and I let you know what I picked for the week. Um, this isn't a comic, it's like a news, a newsstand or a newspaper thing uh, that my comic shop has. Uh, these are free, it's pretty cool. Uh, this one says uh, Shadow and Batman. Uh, comic shop news, so it's just news in the back. Every week we have a we have one of these every week, and every week there's a new uh, Spider-Man story going on too. Uh, by Stan Lee, Larry Liber, and Alex Su Suvik. Do that. So uh, yeah, I mean, you can see, and all it is really is just uh, say newspaper. Which is pretty cool, I mean, it's free, you get a little comic in there, you get the date, whatnot. Um, so, okay, let's get this started, you see I got Shirtless Bear Fighter number three. Now, as you know, I've been loving this series, I think it's hilarious. Dude Fighting Bears. Um, shirtless Bear Fighter. The title delivers what the comic's about. Uh, X-Men Gold issue 10. And you can see Omega Red there. Um, after reading the last issue, it ended out, it uh, ended with, um, actually I got the, last issue was here. Number 10, I'll show you real quick. Got Colossus and Kitty Pride on the cover. Pretty cool looking cover there. So, I was reading it, and getting towards the end, and then like the last page, you can see there, you got Omega Red. So, I was pretty excited. Um, I like the series, because it reminds me of the X-Men cartoons that I watched back in the 90s. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's pretty cool to see Omega Red. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while, so read that one. Um, next one is Edge of Venomverse, number five. Uh, I'm assuming this is Deadpool. I see tacos and it's red and black. So, see, I guess these are tacos right here. It's a taco truck. And I just noticed the swords up here, so yeah, I wasn't sure what was at first, but yeah, it makes sense now. Um, so, yeah, so I read the last two or three. Uh, not really getting my attention much, but maybe it gets better, so I'll give it a shot. Um, Blood of the Manta, Teen Titans, issue 11. I hope you guys can see that clear. So you got Aqualad, you got Raven, uh, Robin, Beast Boys in the form of a shark, and they're fighting the uh, Black. Secret Empire number nine. Uh, we got looks like Zemo and Bucky are fighting, and uh, Black Panther's there on the ground. I don't know what's going on with them, but the last uh, issue, uh, Namor popped up with Bucky, and I think they're gonna wrap this up next month with the next issue. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's only like ten issues. It's a ten issue series. Um, Hopefully it ends good. I mean, it was, last issue was okay. I didn't really care too much there. But it looks like they're closing up on that. And then the last one, this one wasn't in my box, but this goes back to those other ones that... Uh, Generations number one, The Thunder. Mighty Thor and The Unworthy Thor. So you got Jane Foster, you got the classic looking four there. So it's the same as the Hulk one and then the Wolverine one, which is somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure what this one's going to be about, um, but that wasn't in my box, but I wanted to pick it up. So that's all I've got. That's what 
I picked out this week. Um, we got one more week left this month, one more Wednesday, actually. Not even a full week next week. So, we'll see what comes up next week. Alright, well, that's all I got. You know, if you guys got any recommendations, any, um, any thoughts on these comics, if you already read them, uh, just go ahead and leave the, the replies in the comment section below. And I'll see you next week. Have a good one.